Welcome back to Red Star Raceway, our purposeful motorcycle circuit. And what a way to debut the Zontes Cup, a brand new series in South Africa. And this is the development class that's going to come through and feed what is Bridgestone Challenge, Bridgestone Superbikes, and our national superbike category. With 20 bikes about to go to battle, Dave is down in pit lane to catch up with our series organizer, John Johnson. Tell us a little bit about the bikes. Uh, 300 cc is all that type of thing? Yeah, all the bikes are perfectly standard still. Um, we need to gut the exhaust, we never had time for that. That will still be done. But besides from gutting the exhaust, that is practically the only thing we need to do still. Well, I wish you good luck and uh, hopefully you stick in there with the guys today and nothing goes wrong for you. Yes, thank you. My uh, concentration is not on the racing today, but I'll be there and I'll do my best. <laughs> from Double J, we go to Double G, three-time SA Superbike champion Greg Hildenace, a quick word. But yeah, it's super fun, and yeah, it's a good way to learn. you got a lot to learn, eh? Yeah, for sure, you know, it's been a while. <laughs> well, that's Greg Hill, that's Greg, back to you in the commentary booth. We're looking forward to some great racing here today. Over to you. Dave, you can't go wrong with Zante's Cup so far, considering the fact that they've brought six South African championships to the grid in their very first outing. And not only have they brought that, but you down on the grid and find out a little bit more up close and personal what they've done for this event. So this brand new categories arrived here at Red Star this weekend, Greg, and uh, boy, we're in for something very special. Take a look at the grid. Got a whole bunch of umbrella girls that they've supplied as well. They're making it look really international. We're hoping for some great racing as these riders pull up onto the grid. Greg, over to you. You can take us through the grid for today's race. The front row of the grid is made up of four South African Championships, William Friend having one of them and Greg Kildenace having three of them, Luca Coccioni in the middle of those two, Alessio Coccioni, Vandenberg and Hunter Dreyer on the second row, Doe Kutsia, Tristan Pinar and John Johnson, the series organiser there in ninth, Zadie Williams and Keith Wurtz taking on uh, Wayne Thomas a bit further back and then it's Devet de Dreyer and look out for Alicia Knutza and Jen Abbott, two lady riders at the back of the field. Devetra, this is his point of view, looking into the clutches there of Hank Scaling just ahead of him and looking for a chance now to possibly uh, go and do some battle with him. As they clear the grid, all the ladies moving to the sideline, the bikes are ready to go. There's 20 of them, a couple that have joined LateMinute.com. And as you see that, one of them at the back is Tyrese Roberts and Cam Aitken. And he's looking forward to getting to the front end of the field as quickly as possible. Lights out and down towards turn one they go. 300 cc's of power making their way down towards turn one. Who's going to have what it takes to get the first hole shot of the year and the first hole shot ever of the Zontes 300 Cup? It's William Friend by the looks of things who's got through there. And he goes side by side with Coccioni, but Greg Hildenace just squeezes in between the two of them and finds a way past. The rest of the pack trying to sort things out there and you can see just how difficult it is with such evenly matched motorcycles. And remember, it's going to take a while to get these bikes up to speed, particularly the tires that they're running on will probably take one or two laps before they're up to optimum temperature. You can hear as we go on board there with Greg Kildenace, he's under attack there from Coccioni. The two of them are side by side as they get to the bottom of the long straight and Coccioni just squeezes through. Have a look in the background though, watch out for Cam Aitken, slowly but surely making his way to the front end. Aitken of course started at the back of the field, didn't even get onto the motorcycle until early this morning. And there he goes, squeezing through into fifth place. So Cameron Aitken, slowly but surely making his way and getting to grips with these motorcycles very quickly. He hasn't had any practice on this bike at all besides the qualifying that they did this morning and literally just got out there to do a couple of laps so he could get the look and feel of how these things work. They seem to be working really well and these guys are pushing them to some really good lap times and they've got to grips with them very nicely, the guys who've had a chance to be on board. Remember, this series is going to grow. It's going to go all through the country, even down to East London for the All Bike Day. There's big plans on the cards to get these motorcycles down there as well. As we get on to the short straight, Aitken making his way through. The one nice thing about this category, and a lot of the car guys were saying, is uh, how silent they are. But there goes Alicia Knutzen with a bit of a problem. I know that they are planning to maybe take the cats out of these exhaust pipes. Yellow flag waving too, so there's a rider down. It's Zadie Williams. It looks like Zadie Williams and John Johnson have come together there down at the bottom end of the dog bone. And eventually red flag being called due to the rider being stuck on the side of the track. That's the standard option rule here now. And the medical team getting to him very quickly to sort him out. They'll remove that motorcycle quickly too. Get it back into pit lane, but that looks like it might be the end of the day's racing there for Zadie Williams. Restart. Under starters orders now and getting ready to go. Who's going to have what it takes this time as the two-minute board comes up? We're on board here with William Friend as the lights go out. William Friend had the good drop off the line. He's got a good start as well. He heads towards turn one, Bridgestone corner. But this time, Greg Hildenace outguns him. And Hildenace, double G, into Bridgestone corner. Followed very closely by Coccioni. Oh, Luca Coccioni finding a special line to get through on William Friend. 
And as they come through Bridgestone Chicane, you can see Cam Aitken is already in the mix there, looking to rub and get through Hunter Trey up there as well. Good start from the young man from Wing Promotions as he comes to Bridgestone. Oh, and it's so close. There was a little bit of chopping and changing in the mid-pack too. Watch out all the way through this pack of riders. There's going to be packs just forming together on similar lap times. Remember, some of these guys haven't even had a chance to jump on these bikes in full force yet, but they are definitely putting on a show of note, and it's great to have this kind of action right from the word go. Aitken up in the fourth place, but it's a change up for the lead. As you can see there, William Friend is now just behind the uh, hard charging Luca Caccioni. Caccioni eventually got through there, through the little section, and oh, there's a move on! Oh, Aitken trying to get through on double G. Kildenay had to go defensive. He forces Aitken around the high side, but high side will mean there'll be the inside line for the hairpin. And as they go to the hairpin, watch out for Aitken late on the brakes. Can he make it stick? Alessio Caccioni going to try and go with him. So Luca leads things out now. William Friend in second place, and as you can see there, eventually. Squeezing Greg Kildenace out through the hairpin and getting past. Aitken up to third place. Possibly even to second place by the time they get to the end of the short straight now. Watch for the slipstream effect there. Not a huge amount of power to play with these motorcycles, but certainly as you heard from Greg Kildenace, a great learning class. Definitely something that will teach you how to ride a motorcycle because you have to carry corner speed. And as you see that, the corner speed being carried there by Cam Aitken shows you exactly the type of challenge you need and what you can learn on these motorcycles to become a very seasoned campaigner. Here comes a seasoned campaigner, an ex-KTM 390 champion there, looking for a chance to squeeze out the man in front of him, but William Friend can't find a way through on Coccioni. Those two have fought on numerous occasions in various forms of motorcycle racing here in South Africa, and of course the two of them also being across into the Red Bull Rookie Cup. The Red Bull Rookie Cup man out front though is uh, showing a clean pair of wheels to the rest of this field at the front end. Alessio Coccioni just hanging on to the back end there of Double G. Killed nice. And that old gold bike looking very good and resplendent in those colors and slightly different colors to what we've seen. But remember, as we get into this championship, there are opportunities for sponsors to get involved and there are opportunities for your personal sponsors to get some space on those bikes as well. And looking for that, of course, will be Marius Knutzer as he comes through onto the main straight. William Friend now trying to find a way through, hasn't found it just yet. You can see how difficult it is because they're so evenly matched and the rider skill is also just as even. Into the Bridgestone Chicane, a bit further back in that pack, looking at uh, Doe Kutsia and Devet Dreyer trying to close down there as well on uh, Alex Vandenberg and Hunter Dreyer. Hunter Dreyer is having a phenomenal run for his first time out, that is for sure. But this is a great battle. And, ooh, a little sit up there. That's not quite what you want to do. <laughs> Eventually getting it sorted out. I think there's going to be a little bit of sitting up left, right and centre as they get to grips with these bikes. As I said, a couple of changes will be happening by the time they get to the next round of this championship. They might be just playing around with some suspension settings and looking to see if they can get those cats out of the exhaust pipe. Might be a little bit louder the next time we go to play. No one's going to beat this man today though. Cameron Aitken, it looks like he's been born to ride a Zonte's bike. And he looks like he's going to take it all the way to the chequered flag. Second place at this stage is William Friend. He's managed to get through. And Greg Hildenay still fighting with the two Coccionis. Looks like a bit of a problem in the late stage there for Luca. He's just dropped off the back end there. I wonder there's a bit of an issue there. And hopefully they'll get that sorted out. No, John Johnson and his team will be on it as soon as they can. Hunter Dreyer making his way around. Closing things down there on Tristan Pino. A nice little fight between the two younger riders of this category. And that's, of course, exactly what this class is all about. Is to bring youngsters through and give them a chance at national challenge level. And have a go here. In amongst the big bikes with Bridgestone Challenge. So Cam Aitken takes the victory there ahead of the one-handed William Friend. Greg Kildenay is coming through for third place. And Dave Peterson is down in pit lane to catch up with Cameron Aitken, our first race one winner. Yeah, oh, Greg, what a great result for Cam Aitken, Cam. But not so easy coming from the back of the grid, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's been a... It, it, it was really a difficult race. Um, coming from the back was... Well, I always knew it was going to be a task. Um, but it's something we've done countless times and I was ready to do it again. And I did what I do best and I did it and we came up with a win. So it was, it was a good race, yeah? There's another young man looking forward to getting onto Azante's very soon. Maybe he can take on Cam Aiken. He's got the weight advantage there, that's for sure. That's one thing we need to take into account with Cam Aiken. He has got a slight weight advantage over the rest of this field. But Dokuts here, maybe he's going to look to fight it out once again there with Hunter Dray and Alex Vandenberg here for heat number two. Five second board, lights go on, lights off, and we are racing yet again in the second race ever for Zonte's Cup. The Zonte's 300ccs make their way down towards Bridgestone Chicane for the first time, and who is going to have the whole shot? Aitken looks like he's got through there, and just leads out the rest of this pack as they come in there. Tristan Pinot with a good start, right on his tail is Hunter Dreyer, and as they sort things out just behind that, Alex Vandenberg, as I said, will be in the mix. He's helping out with a couple of uh, extra spare parts for these motorcycles as well, so great to have his company on board. As they head down the sh long straight for the first time, this is Keith Buerta closing in on Dokutsia. On the outside, Buta on the inside. This time he's going to be late on the brakes and get through on Kutsia. Yes, makes it stick down at the bottom end of the long straight. Tyrese Roberts starting to make his way through as well. And he's just battling a little bit there at the back of the field. 
Didn't quite get to the front where he wanted to be, but Robert will definitely be a man to watch out for here in heat number two. Aitken already opening up about a 10 bike length uh, lead over Greg Hildenace, who fends off William Friend. Cacioni's just behind that, and then you can see as they push hard, a little bit of a problem there for Tristan Pinar, as he's coming under big threat. And around the outside, Pinar under big, big trouble there as they try and find their way through. Alex van den Berg also just behind that, and Wayne Thomas making his way to the front end. No worries at all there for Aitken though, he hangs on. Change up for second, it's now William Friend ahead of Greg Hildenace. Pinar has managed to keep Cacioni up, but it's not for much longer, because I think Luca Cacioni wants a way past. Looking over the shoulder there, oh that was nice to see. And uh, you can see just how tough it is in these conditions now. A little bit more windier, and we did expect a little bit of rain, so they are a little bit concerned about some water coming down, maybe at the closing stages of the second heat. But the wind has certainly picked up, and it'll definitely be affecting the, abil the ability of the motorcycles, as well as their runs up and down the short and long straights. It'll help you out on down the short straight, because it's blowing straight up that short straight, but on the long straight, you're going to have to tuck in behind the small fairing and do the best you can. Marius Knutzer and Alicia Knutzer back on track as well. Good to have the two of them there. And Jen Abbott, our second lady rider in the mix there too. Watch out for a possible change up here at the front. Oh, some cones go flying. They've got to watch out for that. You can't hit those cones. It's using a little bit more than the track than what you're allowed to. It won't be a, an official penalty like they get at MotoGP, but they certainly will imply that when the championship starts full time. As they come down in towards Bridgestone Chicane, it is Coccioni who's found his way past and Pinar right behind him. Tristan Pinar also getting to grips with these bikes very, very quickly. And uh, that short circuit racing he's been doing is certainly paying off. Along with Hunter Dreyer, the two of them could be big contenders. Tyrese Robert looking for a way through now. Fighting hard there with Keith Buerta. Wayne Thomas in the mix as well. <laughs> that's quite cool. 54, that's Alex van den Berg waving at Doe Kutsia and saying, I'll see you later, as he came past. He knew the onboard camera was there, so he gave us a little wave. That was awesome to see from van den Berg. But we come to the checkered flag for the second time today. And yet again, it's going to be Cameron Aitken this time dominating things at the front to four and a half seconds up the road from William Friend. Taking the juniors category, Tristan Pinar in fourth place, beating on Coccioni and Hunter Drea, Dokutsia, Alex Vandenberg and Wayne Thomas with Keith Buerta just getting inside the top ten. Down in pit lane, Dave caught up with Alicia Knutzer after her first outing. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Um, pity about the first heat. I think in the second heat I would have gone a lot quicker. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I worked hard. <laughs> Being heavier than everyone else, it really was a disadvantage for me, but I really, really enjoyed it. It's a great bike. I think somebody has to go and take on Cameron Aitken at the next round. I wonder who that person's going to be. Dave, a quick word. Thanks, Greg. What a result then from the Zontes Cup here at Red Star. And what an event it really has been for this new series. But we're going to have a final word from our Zontes ladies on three. One, two, three. All this extreme festival of motorsport action is proudly brought to you by Bridgestone Motorcycle Tires. The Wellness Group. Zonte's Motorcycles and Big Z Moto.